the writing in the squirrel poop game is yeah no, I mean, it's very funny back with games and guns um with your host here steven gutowski and this week we have uh, the lovely dan joseph on from the media research center and Hello. we will be playing a uh, brand new uh addition to call of duty ghosts which is a uh, classic game type called gun game they're basically you run around and every kill you get you get a different gun since and steve's so, been talking i've already been killed twice at this game i just want everybody <laughs> to know that oh three times so i just killed Four dan times. there and i got a new i went from a pistol to this awful revolver shotgun thing essentially uh the goal of this is to get to the last level which is a, which is just a knife so there's sort of you get a, a huge variation of weapons that you're supposed to try to use. Today we're, we're going to be talking about the brand new CBO report on Obamacare that everybody's talking about that basically, uh, spoiler alert, it's worse than everyone than everyone originally thought it was going. Just like every other major uh, government program that's ever existed. It's even more awesome than they promised it was going to be. That's the that's the spoiler alert there. It's better. New spokesman guy, he was like, oh, well, this just means that people people now can work less than they did before. Yes, it's a, it's good news that <laughs> we're going to be uh, losing 2 million workers from the workforce. Or the that's, that's a good thing, because now they can take more time off and get paid less and put more less money back in the economy. And this was the actual argument that he was making. I, I, I was I was I was dumbfounded at it, and I think like I feel like this guy like made a mistake by telling the truth. Like they told him to go out and say something else. <laughs> Explain it this way, and he was like, oh, "Okay, I'll, I'll I'll do that." And then he gets out there and said, "No, just fewer people in the workforce. That's what it means." Oops. His job is basically to like polish a turd. So, yeah. how, what can you really expect from him? Right. I mean, at least Jake Harney does it with conviction, though. This guy looked like he was a reject from the high school debate team. Like, they kicked him off the high school debate team because he was too big of a nerd. Someone's already on the last level. Wow, so somebody's already got the knife? Yeah. And he's probably going to stab me any minute now. Ooh, well, you know what I found? I found so well, much. I got knife to death. I suck. Oh, man. The CBO says because of Obamacare's subsidies, because they're at a certain point you're sort of paying people not to work. Right, which is what we've been saying about liberalism for 50 years. Sure, which is not an uncommon thing practice in government entitlements that's what right. most of them do you pay people people get to a certain level of income and it's worse for them to keep working because then they lose their government subsidy and that's basically the problem that's happening again with obamacare or yes. at least to most people it's a problem like you're saying apparently for liberals that that's a benefit that's a good thing i get super competitive when i play this game though this this specific type for some reason Makes me yeah. really competitive because I'm I'm pretty good at it, so I can actually win, and so. Okay. And I there's a lot of like, there's a lot of times where it's sort of luck based, so you can get really frustrated. And the problems with Obamacare are never ending. It's it's a huge disaster. It is, and, and there's no there's no way around it. You oh. should just stand in front of me the whole time, and I'll kill you 17 kill times. Kill me over and over again, and get your best gun that you can possibly get. That exactly. would that makes sense. You know what yeah. I'm playing right now? Actually, on my own because I play the one-player games because I, you know, I don't have any friends and nobody likes me. I've been playing this game called Conquer. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Have you heard of this? No. What? Old 90s game. It, it was off originally for the N64, and then they released it uh, again with an online shooter game for the uh, for X, Xbox 360. And the original platformer game was on there, but it's this game with this little squirrel, right? And mm -hmm. you think, oh, it's a cute squirrel platformer for kids, but it's not. It's like an R-rated game with this squirrel, and the squirrel drinks, and he, you know, has sex, and he, he pees on things to make them move, and there's poop everywhere. It's like, it was like the first adult game for any system, and it's actually a really, really good game. I mean, the controls are really good. It's really creative and really original, but, uh, you know, sort of been forgotten in the whole... But that sounds like the kind of game that you would enjoy. It is, you know, it's the the, the comedy, the writing is really, really good. Maybe we'll do an episode with, with that, with the Squirrel Poop game. Default loadout, okay, there we go. Die! Die, fella! Do I do I lose the gun if I die and I have to go back? No, you, you okay, keep okay, the so same gun until you kill someone with it. it. It's awesome. That guy just did. Alright, I shot another guy. I'm doing well this time. Yeah? Where are you? I want to kill you. Bring you down. Don't kill me. Give me a chance at least. 
No. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Oh God. Yeah, I did I did watch the Super Bowl because I'm, you know, from the first world. <laughs> An American. I'm kind of jealous of all those third world kids who get the losing team t-shirts. Like they're gonna get, like next next week they're gonna think the Denver Broncos won the Super Bowl because they get all the equipment that says Denver Broncos Super Bowl champions. <laughs> yeah, but that, I, I think it's a bad trend because it makes poor people have to dress like hipsters and that just <laughs> increases their suffering, I feel like. Yes, but at the same time, those poor people now have clothing so they don't have to walk around naked all day. I mean, it's... It's a toss-up. I don't know what's worse, looking like a hipster or being perpetually naked, but mm. either way, I mean, I kind of think that's cool. I kind of would want to buy a shirt that says... Yeah, because you're a hipster who plays scroll poop games. That's, that's true. That's true. You got a great point there. I mean, I also walk around naked a lot, too, though, so... All the time. Yeah. But uh, getting back to Obamacare... Oh, yes. For some reason, just randomly going back to that because I thought of this, mm -hmm. and that's how I do transitions because I'm a good show host. Yes. What we don't need to worry about, I think, is the collapse of the system due to young women not signing up. Because I don't know if you've seen this, but they've created a new ad campaign targeting specifically young women with talking animals. Yes, I saw part of that today, and as an animal owner myself, I'm. It worked, worked for me. I'm actually thinking of signing up for Obamacare because my my cat is telling me to. Yeah, it was, it's like the Dr. Doolittle of poorly run government health care. Right, exactly. Uh, I mean, but you, it's hard to resist your pets because, you know, everybody, in, especially in this country, we love our animals. And, and young single women love their animals because they take the place of their uh, of the boyfriend that they don't have. So if, if their dog or cat is going to tell them to sign up for Obamacare, then then hey, you know, that's a pretty that's a pretty reasonable argument. Also, I think the what the the commercial does too is it's saying, hey, I need you to be around to take care of me because I'm a helpless animal. Uh, so you need Obamacare right now. I you know Yeah, because you're a helpless animal and you need the government to you know, take care right. of you. I'm a helpless animal and so are you. <laughs> so, right, that's the message. So you need to get some Obamacare lady. Obamacare in the end. I hope what it really teaches us, if anything is that you never want the federal government to pass anything that's comprehensive. You know, you hear that word comprehensive immigration reform, comprehensive health care reform, a comprehensive grand bargain for a budget deal. And, yeah. and you hear Democrats using it a lot. And really what that means is they want something so big that covers so many things that there's no possible way that we can have a reasoned debate on every single one of them. You don't want comprehensive anything. What you want is piecemeal, particularly when it comes to these important issues. You yeah, otherwise you end up with something like the Farm Bill, which is like 75% food stamps and I know, like 10% you know, having to actually do with farmers. If you knife people in this, they go back a level. Some stabbing. people like to be uh, complete jerks and just run around knifing people the whole time. And those people make me want to do horrible, unspeakable things to them. I believe that it's a very important fight for me. I go to all the marches, and I think I think uh, spork intolerance is one of the things that's really harming this country. You and your sporks are harming this country. You sick, you sick perverted man. Hey man, I'm not saying I'm a spork myself, but I think that they should have the. You know, how does it hurt me if the sporks are allowed to have the same uh, dinner silverware rights as the other items on the table? All I know is that uh, I shouldn't have to pay for your damn sporks. Sporks are like breeding a pit bull and a poodle. You know what they should make? They should make. I mean, you have the sporks. Why don't they? Why don't they help have the knife come into it and make like a, a knife slash fork that you could use, or a knife and a spoon that you could use, like a spife. Uh, does your depravity know no limits? Or a knork. Sir? Yeah. yeah. I'm so bad. I'm Bill Nye the science guy and some uh, The Answers in Genesis guy are having a big debate tonight. Yeah, that's what we need. A guy who played a scientist on TV and a man who runs an amusement park to debate science. <laughs> I don't know. The way you just put it sounds pretty good. This is CNN. I wish I I wish I had uh, the, vo the, uh, the voice, the CNN voiceover to play right sure. now. This is CNN. A man who played a scientist on TV and a guy who runs an amusement park will debate science tonight. What was your favorite commercial for the Super Bowl? The one where Peyton Manning threw five touch 
five, five interceptions <laughs> and no touchdowns. Poor guy. I feel bad for Manning. I mean, I do too. You know, he's still a great quarterback, but just like he had one of those days where nothing went right, and it just happened to be the most important game of the year. <laughs> it just happened to be the biggest game of his life. I'm <laughs> killing you though, right now. Bye. I think he died. Oh, then I died. Did you uh, see the Coke commercial that everyone was talking I about? Did. No, I, I knew when that came on. I, I was watching and I was like, you know what? This is gonna, this is gonna cause some consternation with some people. I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't think it was that great of a commercial. You know, I, I didn't think there was anything spectacular about it, other than the amount of controversy it caused. Someone is going around and just knifing people. Yeah, those people not... deserve to be burned alive, in my opinion. By the way, I mean, but really, it's 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 a good marketing ploy, good marketing strategy in terms of so many great things in this game. Phones, yeah. candy machines. It's lifelike. There's a lot of people. outdoor candy machines. But, they, you should know, make the candy machine. they should make the candy machine a playable character. In this. <laughs> now, that that's the game I would play. You run around, you shoot Snickers bars at people. <laughs> oh, candy God. machine's great adventure. You pop out, and you're like, feeling hungry, and then you kill them with the <laughs> Snickers. Oh, I got second place. Good job, man. See, I, I need to, I want to find these people that are just running around knifing them and I want to, you know, peel right. their skin off in one piece. I know, like that's a Aztecs. normal feeling. That's a normal feeling for a young man like yourself. But the Coke commercial, going back to that, it didn't bother me. I liked the message that they were going for. America's this great melting pot of mm. thousands of different cultures coming into one um, to embrace the American ideal. I can see why, uh, I think uh, people, some people are just idiots, obviously, and that's part of the backlash. But part of it, I, I think, like, what what I don't like is um, I want a melting pot, and I think an integral part of being a melting pot is having a shared language, having common language. That's what makes it work. One of the things that makes it work. But I, I don't want to see, like a, like, a situation like they have in Canada, with, like Quebec, right. or and where the, they're really not the Go same... They're really not one culture. They're not one. They're not one country. They're they're sort of exactly. a bunch of subcultures that don't really interact. I think a lot of people interact. in this country don't really understand that there's a difference between diversity and multiculturalism. Yeah. You know, diversity is good. You want people from different places, but multiculturalism, where they're all living in their own little tribes and you know speaking their own languages, that's bad. You, you right. don't want that. And you know, I do think that you know it wasn't necessarily saying that. It was. Saying, yeah, I don't yeah, think the ad says that. And that's right. why it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I was just like saying... Part of your... It's birth. not wrong to bring your heritage with you when you are become an immigrant to, you know, the U.S. And part of that, for most people, obviously, is their home language. I think the point was to show the rich culture that we have. You see a shot of, like, um, uh, like an Islamic woman buying a hot dog in Chinatown. And that's what America is, is the part of our cultural... Uh, Heritage is, is how how much we bring together all these other cultures and yeah. all the best parts of them. Although they should do a commercial where they show the worst parts of them. Yeah, mainly like, like the they moment. could just show this this show right here. <laughs> you talking about squirrel poop video games? I'm like standing on top of a truck and shooting people at this point. That sounds like a great strategy to win. It is. It's a good strategy. This game is taking forever because there's these stupid little jerks running around just knifing people the entire time. And I'm, I'm seriously going to find them in real life and I'm going to... Oh, hi Dan, there you are. I'm going to Daddy. find them in real life and I'm going to twist off their heads like a Coke bottle. There's one right... Oh my god. I'm going to... I'm going to freak out in, in like two seconds and I'm going to track these people down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use your truck strategy. I'll just get up on... On this yeah, truck. Find that truck. Hey, it's, it worked. I killed a guy, so. There you go. I'm gonna adopt your body and show you. And I killed we'll you. And then I got killed. Watch well, some awful human being was trying to knife me. Again. I just wanna, I wanna find him. And I'm gonna. Snipe to my eye out. Put him in a headlock. And pull out their tongue. Nice. Die. Die, 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 die. Good, you're dead. Still alone. Weeping. Oh my god, I got knifed again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Running around with the knife. 
I'm just I don't gonna, even know how to knife somebody. How do you how do you knife a guy? I'm losing my mind. I oh. can't be any more angry. What's that? These people are just running around trying to knife each other. Like, why are you in here? Why don't you go home and, like, hang yourself instead? I, I picture everybody who plays these games on Xbox Live to be sitting in their apartments wearing suits and Suit. drinking martinis. <laughs> like, monocle on. I gotta brush my okay. cat. She's shedding all over the place. <laughs> so what oh, else? Anything yeah. else going on that we haven't talked about yet? Yeah, um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Hear it and respond. All of you will die now. Everybody die. All of you are going to die now. Yeah! This is how you do it, my friend. This is the way it's done. No, no! One of the most annoying things about this game type, though, is uh, there's a, like a rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. And when you when you hear rocket launcher, what, what would you assume about how easy it is to kill a person with the rocket launcher? Well, you I mean, it, it's got to be pretty easy, because, right. yeah, I mean, I assume it's pretty it's pretty damn easy. That would be the assumption, right? But no. It's no? the exact opposite. It's practically impossible to actually kill someone with a stupid rocket launcher. Well, I find it easier so to knife people than to shoot a giant rocket at their face. What's so hard about killing people with the with the rocket launcher? You have to hit, like, the ground right in front of them in order to actually kill them. Uh, have you ever shot a rocket launcher before? I mean, do you know? Exactly in real life? Was? All the time. Just constant rocket shooting. Okay. I mean, um, I don't know. I've never... And I off... Yeah. Launch. You remember last summer, I was... That rocket rampage. They call it the rocket rampage of the summer yeah. of 2013. I was surprised you got out of jail for that. Like, they didn't They didn't really care. They were like, oh, you're a first-time rocket launcher offender, so I guess you can go this time, but... Yeah, I used to think liberals were, like, crazy about their gun control. Oh, there's not enough gun control. But then after that, I was like, yeah, maybe we should have a little more gun control. Yeah, With rocket kind of control, in, I guess. Kind of like gun control. It's more rocket control than gun control. We do need more rocket control because there's nothing worse than having, you know, going downtown and being afraid of somebody blowing up your car with a rocket. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, I live in fear every day of rocket launcher-related crimes. You and most, me and most of the mothers of America. Mm hmm I blame George W. Bush and his rocket launcher lust. I blame Jeb Bush because he's from Florida. Right. So, and he's Bush. Although I belong to the NRLA, which is the National Rocket Launcher Association. Mm. Yeah, but that's just a rocket launcher lobby group. I mean, they're, they're funded by the people who make the rocket launchers, so. Yeah, but they protect my rights. And also, if you go to the building, they have a really great rocket launcher range. I do like their range. Yeah, it's really great. So as far as the game goes, from my vast experience, I know that it's, it's not realistic. Yeah, well, you know. Someday they'll make a much better rocket launcher simulator. Yeah, that's the day that I hope for. We all, we I hope my friends. kids can grow up <laughs> and live in a day where the rocket launcher simulations are far <laughs> superior than the ones we have now. You know what? This game needs some squirrels, some pooping squirrels. That would vastly improve most video I, games, I think. Yeah, I mean, I would play as the squirrel. Squirrels are dangerous. The squ a squirrel with a spork. Spork squirrel. Spork See, that's where you got. That's where I think you've gone off the spork. off the rails. Yeah. Sporks are, they're. Demons, demon creatures, demons embodied in sports. They're wonderful. They're they're it's the same love, man. Same if love. If you read the scriptures, Satan's uh, specter is actually a, it's a giant spork. D is it? Did is that in Leviticus? Did well they say known. something about sports? Sporks. It's well known if you actually read books. <laughs> you would know. I wish I could read. I just but played. Here we are, games. and I have to inform you. Mm-hmm. Just like I just everything. play video games and brush my cat. That's all I do. Do you use a sport to brush the cat? You know, that's a good idea. I actually should try that sometime. That's the only approved use of sports, cat brushing. <laughs> everything else is blasphemy. It saves money, too, because you don't have to go to the, the, the brush store. You just go to 7-Eleven, grab a handful of sporks, and you're done. Yeah. And then when you're finished, you can just eat a bowl of chili. It's great. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that yeah. does it. For, Thank uh, you for me this on. Episode. I, I always enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. thanks for coming on. We'll have you on again sometime. Yeah. Uh, just keep your keep your damn sports to yourself. Uh, don't bring them near me. Don't make me pay for them. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've had enough of your sport your pro keep, sport agenda. Keep your and... sports off my ovaries. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. there will be live streams, and every Thursday is a new episode. Um, 
I'm Stephen Gutowski, your host, and my guest this week was the lovely Dan Joseph, and he we're off <clears throat> to go spork each other in bed, and we'll see <laughs> we'll see you next time. Later, spork.